Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial. Today I'm going to start a new series on short video on WebRTC where we'll explore the APIs and different functions, common usually functions in WebRTC uh, API. And today we are going to start with uh, uh, media access. So how can we request the permissions from the camera, user uh, camera and, and uh, microphone, for example. So in order to request these permissions here, we are going to make use of uh, these functions here. And let's go to the API from MSDN. So if we tap here, and we go to the documentation here. Here is our documentations. And uh, yeah, what is important here is if you call the concept here, we can see that uh, in this uh, media stream API, we go down here into the user media you can also see that uh, you can also see that from uh, interfaces from here but here this is uh, the user media user media functions right here is the one here and what it does if you click to that and then what we do is we can see here the user uh, media method of the devices interface prompt the user for permissions. So this will allow us when uh, we start, for example, our applications and want to use the camera, we will have a pop-up here requesting us to use, uh, to give the permissions to access uh, the microphone or the camera. And this user media here return a stream. And if we scroll down here, we can see a sample functions on how to use it. We pass a constraint here, and the constraint is this one. This is the configuration here that we pass to the user media. If you want to enable the audio, then we set this one to true. Otherwise, we disable it and set it to false. Same thing with uh, the video. So in order to do this uh, demo here, I started uh, this video here in, I had a sample code, base code on which we are going to build on. This is a tutorial where I show you how to uh, use Angular with uh, HTTPS. And HTTPS because when it comes to multimedia applications, especially WebRTC, many of the functions will require you to have HTTPS. And then by using this M set, we can create a local uh, certificates on which we can run applications with. And it's also a good practice to start locally with security in mind. So when that one is set, if we go back to uh, uh, VS code, uh, here is a sample Angular projects. If we serve it, I will also put a, list, a link description to this sample projects. In the video description, you can see here we start with HTTPS. And if we come here and refresh this one, we can see that our application is running on HTTPS. So it's a good practice to start in the beginning with this one. So it'd be very helpful. And then once that one is done, we come back now, and then we are going to go down here and create, generate a service. So I write here ng, uh, ng generate service. I will call it created services slash media. Here is the service which is generated, which is created here. And then 
on that one is done, uh, once that one is done, and as shown here in, we are going to use a similar concept. Our media is returning a stream, so we need to declare a stream. And uh, I come here, the first thing that uh, we do here is to declare a private stream from of type media stream and then set it this way and probably here is asking to set it as undefined so it can be this one or undefined or null we set this one to null and then down so we are going to uh, request uh, the access <laughs> so then we write a request we have to declare a, a functions here request media access and this one as pointed here is taking a stream right it will take a stream so here we are going to pass a stream of type media stream constraints And then we are going to make this one as asynchronous functions because you want it to run in the background without interrupting anything. So <coughs> then we set this one as asynchronous. And then the promise here is going to return a boolean. And here is that. Then try so here you have this stream equal you yeah, equal to <coughs> a width navigator. media so we can either use uh, this navigator media device or okay here is the functions here that we use you can just copy this one right we can just copy this one and paste it here so that is it and then you will return if the permissions is assigned then it will return true so here, uh, we have the permissions is granted. But if the user deny uh, the permissions, then we have catch error. And then you are going to uh, return an error here access to media devices deny and then we return false So our service is ready. Our service is ready now. And then the next thing that we have to do now is to come and 
we come here in the front end, take everything out, and here we declare a div, and then inside this one we are going to past each one. where we call a uh, media, just media access demo. So this is the, tie, the header here. And then we are going to pass a simple button with ID. Media request we pass it media request is okay and then the button here is done label is request media access here is this and then we come back now to our component in our component here, we need to start with uh, defining these uh, configurations. Here, we take this one. And then if you go back, we declare it as a constraint here. I will call it media constraints. call media constraints and then the next thing that we have to do now is uh, the next thing that we have to do is to bind uh, not yet I will come here and then we need to import inject we need to inject media our service we need to inject our service so that we can use it and then because uh, this uh, request access here return a boolean will return a boolean we need to come here and declare the boolean here media call media granted here is type boolean by default is false and then now Uh, we implement our on init functions and on it on init interface sorry on init interface is here and then also that we need to create our request access media Okay, our request media access is better. Functions that will attach to our button. Same thing as before, we are going to make it uh, asynchronous. It's going to be an asynchronous functions. And then, we have this granted media which will be equal to a wait here this media uh, functions here it is the media service
And what is the problem now? Yes, so media service is there. Oh, sorry, I have to declare this one as private. Okay, media service is okay, request access, media constraints. So we just return that and then we can just display stuff in the console like if uh, media granted is true then we just uh, uh, do the same thing like we did here okay not there we can just quickly type it console lock here is um, media access granted to you. If not, media access denied. So if not, the media access is denied. Then now we can take uh, these functions now, come out and then take our click, attach it to that. And then do we have any error? No. Then if we start this one, and then we can see that we are requesting the access here and it doesn't show because uh, probably I have already requested that one in let me take another browser and then just delete just delete everything So, yeah, and then you can see here that it's requesting. So, will you, uh, here is in German, unfortunately, and uh, yeah, so it's saying here allow or block, allow or deny. So, are you allowing that or you are denying? So, then let's see. In here, we said be blocked. So if we go in the console here, we can see that access has been denied, right? Access has been denied. So if we restart it again and make it in English, I hope that it will come again. And okay, this one is always allowed because uh, we already uh, refused it. Then if uh, we close it again and bring another one, try it, English, request access. So, okay, it is asking here, like, do you want to allow it or not? By doing this one, you are either giving or denying the access. And then here it has been given. So if we go to the console here and then here, okay. Ah, I click, okay, deny. So that is it. So this is what I plan to show in this video. In the next tutorial here, we are going to see how uh, we'll do uh, you will attach now and show the camera. So make use of the stream and attach it to the camera. So stay tuned for the next video. Bye.